Hello and welcome to another Swift One. These are meant to be short, quick, concise, helpful videos um, if you're having any grief or angst with Sibelius. Um, today we're looking at multiple voices, so recording with multiple voices, so you're trying to make a hymn, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to use a four bar excerpt from a Bach chorale, which you can see there. Um, the first and possibly most important shortcut for you to use, the real settings, because we're going to be using what's called flexi time. Um, control, Shift, O. Now that gives you the controls for flexi time. Now, personally, this is my opinion, um, you should set the rubato to none. You want the music just to play back like a machine. Um, we are recording into voice number one. Most of the time, that's what you generally record in. Um, I'm assuming you understand what replace and overdub means when you're recording, but for now, leave it on replace. And then this is possibly the most common mistake people make. Um, you've got to tell Sibelius what's the minimum duration. Now, in this case, it's set to an eighth note a quaver. And if you look at my chorale, the shortest note is indeed an eighth note a quaver. So that's correct. Sibelius will not produce any semiquavers. Whatever I play, it will justify it to quavers at least. Um, I personally would turn off all this, the staccato and all that kind of stuff, and the tuplets, we want none of those. We want Sibelius to behave as much like a sequencer as we can. Um, Sibelius is not a sequencer. It's much, much better than it used to be, but people sometimes do tend to treat it a bit like a sequencer. It's not really designed for that, but that setup I've just left should work nice and happy. Now then, here we go. First bar, I'm going to type control shift F. That's the shortcut to start flexi time. I'll get four beats in and then I'm going to play the soprano line. Then I hit the escape button and my recording stops. Now notice it's blue. That's telling you it's in voice one. I'm now going to type control shift O and this time I'm going to record into voice 2. This is my alto part. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to do Control shift f to record. And this time I'm going to play the alto part. There we go. Now then, I'm currently in voice 2. So in the tenor and bass part, voice two is, of course, the bass part, the second part. So I'm already in voice two. I know I am. I can check. Control shift O. There we go. I'm recording into voice two. So let's record the bass line, clicking where I want to start. Control shift F. There we go. Now I've got one more part to record, which is of course voice one in the bass clef. So I'm gonna go here, look, they're all green. That tells me it's voice two. Look, these are green as well. Um, and it, by the way, it corresponds to the colors on the keypad, if you have that open too. So I'm now gonna go in here, and this time I'm going to record into voice one. Control, Shift, O, voice one, okay. Control, Shift, F to record, here it comes. And there we go. I won't fiddle about with it anymore. That's just a little demo. That's it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.